city, drop a hundred fifty, make a couple tracks, and then my album almost done. Man, I'm working every night because my future's so uncertain. Drop an album after album like the shit's too hot. Hold up, no similar. Hello guys, it is Silent Nine, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way and easiest way to unlock the death survivalist in Call of Duty World War II on the Darkest Shore. I'm going to be going fully in depth on how to do it, and you guys should get it in your first try and you should be able to get this done in about 30 minutes and i am going to start to switch my channel up a little bit i am going to still do a bunch of glitches because i like glitches and i'm going to be doing some challenges like i'm going to show you guys how to get character challenges and all that so when you come to my channel always expect the best glitches the best tutorials and all of that but anyways that's about it for that and let's get right into these challenges so the first challenge is to beat the tide one head at a time which is pretty much to just get headshots in every single zombie for wave zero which is not too hard so i'm going to give you guys some tips on how to do that easily on your first try so the first thing you want to do is just simply start a game and spawn in then you guys really should get this gun it is right on the wall right next to quick revive it's the easiest gun to get headshots with because there is no kickback with the machine gun pistol there's a bunch of kickback and with the regular pistol it's very weak and there's some kickback there so just this one is the best one to use and then you guys want to just simply get a horde and after you guys get a big group of zombies you guys just want to aim high for the head and that's it easy as that as you guys can see i'm doing right there and you guys should be able to get the challenge done and you will know when you complete the challenge because when you end the round there will be something that pops up on the top of your screen which sadly I already got it so I never got footage of me actually doing it and getting the challenge but if you just follow what I did you will get it easily. Now that is that challenge now let's get right on to the next one. So this next challenge is very very easy and this one is to just get melee kills without taking damage. Now I am going to show you guys a couple of tips that will make you do this easily on your first try and all that definitely not too hard and when you do this i recommend you guys to use shell shock not camouflage because i have realized with camouflage that they do walk away from you and they might go back into the ocean and you might not be able to knife them but with shell shock they won't walk away they'll just stand still so when you do spawn in you guys want to make sure to get 10 melee kills now do this as fast as possible do not group them up because if you group them up then you have a higher chance of getting hit but when you do melee them, just make sure to melee them, then move back a little bit, then melee, move back, and so on and so forth, until you get your ability. Now, when you get your ability, you just want to move back, group them all up, and have all the zombies in one area. Make sure that no more are spawning, so then you have all the zombies. And as you guys can see, I'm doing it right now. I'm just going around circles. And after that, simply just activate your ability, and go around and knife every single zombie. You don't have to worry about getting hit, because they will all freeze. But anyways, after you knife all the zombies, you will realize that you have a challenge that pops up and you will get the second challenge done and you just need one more. As you guys can see, I just ended the round and like I said before, I did complete the challenge before I made this video, so that's why the challenge didn't pop up, but it will pop up for you. So anyways, let's get right in to the next challenge. So this next one is take a new perspective to survival. Now this one is definitely very easy, it's kind of just like the other one, but instead of standing and getting your melee kills, you just want to simply crouch for the whole entire game. Now with this one, you want to have the same setup, you want to have shell shock, not camouflage, just because shell shock is a little bit easier to use, and once you guys get shell shock and all that, you guys just want to start up the game. So when you're doing this, make sure to not stand up whatsoever, just simply crouch, and just do that and just get your kills. Get up to 10 kills like before, and your meter will be full. Then you guys just want to group them up like before. Simply use your shell shock and kill them while you're crouched. Do not stand up even if you're not meleeing because it's kind of bugged. Because I did stand up when I was doing that, and it didn't even give me the challenge. So make sure to keep crouched. But as you guys can see, I just finished it right there, and you should see the challenge pop up on your screen, and you guys should have your character. Now, simply, the way you check is by going back out of the game. You would go to select characters, then go all the way down to death, raven, survivalist, and that's it. You guys should see it right about now, and that is the character that you guys get. It's not too different from the original, but it's a little bit different. I mean, it's okay. Definitely a lot easier than getting the actual original, so definitely worth getting this if you don't have the original. 
definitely really cool. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you enjoy, and let's get right into the question of the day. So this question of the day is, do you like the survivalist character, or do you like the death the raven survivalist? Which one do you like? Simply vote on the top right. There should be a card that comes out. Simply click that and vote, and let's see if your character wins. But anyways, that's about it for that, and let's get right into the trick questions. So the answer to last trick question is triplets. Good job to Met Texas for getting this right. Thank you so much for participating. Not too sure if I said that name right. Hopefully I did. So definitely make sure you go check them out down below in the description and tell them that sound and sent me. But anyways, let's get right into the next trick question. So our next trick question is, what has one head, one foot, and four legs? Answer down below, and if you're the first person to get that right, then your comment will be pinned, and you will get a shout out next video. You only get one shout out per week, when that's what it. Hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Mario Ninja to me today. Because in order to be a ninja, you have to be silent. And I'm called Silent Nine. But anyways, peace out. See you in the newest video. Have a great day. I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe That's just how it goes, cause I like the lonely vibe But they'll never know, cause I'm